and welcome to New Parenting Training. So this episode is a challenge for me. I am going to try to make nine different recipes using only Instant Pot for this holiday season. So I want to see if I could pull it off just enough time for Thanksgiving Day. So I have here the six core Instant Pot and more recently I have the Instant Pot Dual Crisp Eight quart. So I don't have a lot of experience using it, but I'm going to try for the very first time these nine recipes. So feel free to put some comments or tips down below as you follow through my cooking. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. So let's start now. All right, so I'm going to start first with the turkey because the turkey tastes the longest. So I'm going to go to the spices and I have here some poultry blend spices so I'm gonna put about one teaspoon half a teaspoon of paprika one teaspoon of sea salt one teaspoon of pepper and I'm gonna set aside because I want to introduce the turkey so this is a turkey that weighs about 8.75 pounds I tried to you know to look for the smallest because I was afraid that it would not fit through the instant pot I'm just gonna try to make it fit I have already brined the turkey the, the, the day before I'm not gonna share how I did it but I'll share a link of the recipe and so the first thing first I'm just gonna go and pat dry the turkey the store came in this, with this plastic so obviously I'm not gonna cook the plastic in so I'm gonna cut it out Anyway, now it's pretty hollow inside, so I'm gonna be stuffing it with some aromatics. As far from my aromatics, I'm gonna put some onions, pieces of lemon, got a rosemary twig here. I'm gonna put it all in there. Thyme onions also i want to put some garlic in it okay so the spices can go under the turkey skin if i could just open All right, so I need to tie this turkey really well because I don't want the aromatics to come out and I need to fit this inside the Instant Pot. I'm gonna go get some butter and this is already softened butter. I think you can use regular olive oil, about eight tablespoons, but I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do butter this turkey up. The reason I wanted to butter after I tie it <laughs> because otherwise it's gonna be so slippery to tie this turkey. So I'm gonna mostly at the breast area, giving a turkey massage right there. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the spices. All right, so I'm gonna use the eight quart instant pot. Um, this is the biggest that we have so far. I'm just gonna add about two cups of chicken stock. Oops. I wanna put my trivet here. Try to see if I can fit the turkey. Oh, let it fit. Oh man, I'm gonna do okay. Nope. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna do it again. You will think that having butter would help slide. Okay, there you go. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna do a pressure cook for 45 minutes on high. Let's start. So while the turkey is cooking at this eight quart instant pot, I'm gonna start making the cranberry sauce, which I can make it ahead of time. So I have here about 12 ounces of cranberry. I'm just gonna put it here. Then I have uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. So that's about a cup. I have here about a cup of sugar. I don't like to have too much sugar, so I put about three fourths of a cup. And last but not least, I have here orange zest, about two teaspoons. I'm just gonna mix it well. So now I'm gonna do pressure cook on high for two minutes. So after having this for natural release for about seven minutes, now I'm gonna put it into a vent. Let's see. Whoa. Look at that. So now I'm gonna cook it for about three minutes. So I'm gonna put into saute option. I'm gonna do around three minutes to four minutes. All right, so three minutes is up. It looks like the cranberry has already thickened. So the pot is still pretty hot. So I got here some new mittens from Instant Pot. And all the tools that we used on this video is linked down below if you guys want to find out, find out more. So I'm gonna to try to use them for the first time. Oh, I don't feel any heat. I'm gonna now So the turkey for the high pressure has been finished and I'm just gonna let it naturally release. That way it contain most of the moisture inside the turkey. All right, so I still have the turkey being natural release here. So I still have time to cook the apple pie filling and I'm making this ahead of time and this one can go into regular pie or into a turnover. I'm thinking of doing a turnover. So I'll start off first with heating the pot and then once it's warm enough, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, it looks like the pot is pretty hot. And I'm gonna add in, this is about two apples. And I got the honey crisp apples. So I'm gonna do about seven minutes of sauteing time. And I'm gonna add some sugar. And I have here about one six to one fourth cup of sugar. Not a lot because these apples are pretty sweet. And I'm just gonna add some water, just a little bit, probably about one to two tablespoons of water. While it's getting cooked, um, I have here half a tablespoon of cornstarch and about one tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna mix it. This cornstarch mixture is just to help to thicken the sauce because as the apple cooks, it's pretty watery. All right, so now I'm gonna add in some of the cornstarch mixture. All right, it seems like it looks like it's done. So I'm, I'm going to transfer to a container and let it cool. All right, so the apple filling is done. I'm gonna try to open now the Instant Pot. It has natural release all the way through. And so it took, what, 20 minutes? Oh, maybe, yeah, probably 30 minutes. Okay, I'll put this aside. So I'm gonna try to open the lid now that this little button is all the way down.
Okay, perfect. 176. Yes, so the, the minimum is 165, so that looks good. The, the turkey is cooked. Oh my goodness, this is so heavy. It's slippery. Ooh. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Ta da! So I'm gonna take this pot out and empty the contents, the stock, because I'm gonna use it for later for other recipes such as gravy. And I'm gonna clean this pot and we'll start and get ready for the air fried turkey. So be right back. So I have changed the, the lid of the Instant Pot and this is the lid to use for air frying and also baking. I'm gonna try to spray some oil. I have here avocado oil spray. this turkey in uh -oh. for a turkey this size typically is five minutes per pound and so this turkey is about eight pounds and three-fourths of, of a pound and so that equals to 45 minutes so I'm gonna air fry for 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit so here is 45 minutes at 350 and press start. Okay, so I'm wait while I'm waiting for the air fry to finish, I'm gonna start making mashed potatoes. So I have here three pounds of potatoes and then I'm gonna add enough water to cover the potatoes. Okay, so after putting some water, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt, about one teaspoon, and then put a high pressure for eight minutes. All right, let me check on the turkey. I wanna make sure that it's browning. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is wonderful color. Ooh, hot. So I put it upside down, so hopefully this will work. And I'm gonna add a little more oil. You know, the, the thing I forgot is to add a little bit of po uh, poultry seasoning. So I guess I'll just add a little bit here. I believe I had 30 minutes left, so I'm gonna go back and put a 350 for 30 minutes. So air fry, I'm going to go down in time. And I'm going to start. So this one is done, so I'm going to do a quick release. Okay, looks like the potatoes are pretty cooked. So here are the potatoes after they're drained. I am going to check the turkey. Uh, because the Instant Pot was telling me to turn the food, so I want to make sure I didn't burn it yet. So let's check. Wow, look how crispy it is. It looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn the turkey again and brown on the top for another 10 minutes. Put you back in. I'm gonna put a little bit more of seasoning. I'm just gonna do the remaining 13 minutes and we'll check again. Okay, I'm back to the potatoes, so I'm gonna have a smasher. Mash it all in. All right, so the potatoes are pretty well smashed. Turn on the saute button. Just gonna add some milk. This is about a cup of whole milk. And then this is about three tablespoons of butter. Add about a teaspoon of salt or half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of garlic powder and about half a teaspoon of ground pepper. Okay, okay, mashed potato. All right, guys, the moment of truth. All right, so I'm gonna take it out. Oh, it's hot. 
Wow. Look at this. Can you guys see it? I am so impressed with the outcome. I didn't expect to be like this. But I am now going to cover it with aluminum foil so that it will prevent the turkey from being too dry. So I have two sheets here. All right, this should be good. And I'm gonna go for the next recipe. All right, so the next recipe, I'm gonna do the apple turnovers. And I'm gonna try to preheat um, the air fryer for 350 for five minutes. All right, 350 for five minutes. I'm gonna make three turnovers for now. These are pre-made pie crusts that we bought from the store and I just cut it and it's about five to six inches, five and a half or so. And what I'm gonna do is that the apple fillings that I made earlier, I'm gonna fill it in and I put around, I say three or four. Then I'm gonna wet the bottom with water and I'm gonna fold it in. I'm gonna try to pinch it. Now I'm gonna try to secure it with the fork. It also it makes a nice looking edge. I have one egg and it's already whisked and add a little bit of water to become a little more liquidy. And then my brush, I'm gonna brush on top. I'm gonna add some sugar on top. And then I'm gonna make slits. That way they could vent. Try to place the turnovers. Three turnovers here that I could space well. So I'm gonna air fry now for 10 minutes at 350. All right guys, so the next one is the green bean casserole. So I have here about a pound of green beans, so I'm going to put it into the 6 quart Instant Pot. And then I'm going to add 3 fourths of a cup of the turkey stock that I saved in the previous recipe. And then put it into 1 minute, high, high pressure. Okay, I'm going to try to see if it's ready. like the beans are ready so I'm just gonna do a quick release so here are my green beans and I'm gonna start sauteing them I'm probably gonna do it for about seven minutes okay at this point I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of soy sauce. A little bit of pepper. You say about half a teaspoon, one fourth of a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this is about one can of cream of mushroom. All in there. So while this is cooking, I am gonna now start making the stuffing. I'm gonna turn this into a saute. Now it's warming up. I'll, I'll add in about three tablespoons of butter. Stir fry some onions. This is about half of an onion. Okay, so I empty all the contents from the six quart instant pot into 
a container. Let me look at my onions. It looks like they're brown. I'm gonna add, this is about two stalks of celery. As far for the green bean casserole, it's basically done. So what is missing is to add some crispy onions. And there it is, green bean casserole. All right, so now that the celery and the onions are cooked, I'm gonna add some brown pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. So I have here about three tablespoons of poultry seasoning. I'm gonna add that. Now I'm gonna add bread. I chose the French bread and I'm gonna add half a baguette and they're cut out to be about one inch. Okay, I'm gonna put it right now. Now this is the stock that I have remaining from the turkey and this is about half a cup or a half a cup to three fourths of a cup more or less. This will allow me to scrape the bottom. And I'm going to transfer it into a pan like this. This is a seven inch container. I'm going to put the lid. I'm going to air fry it. At 325 for 20 minutes. So my next recipe is the sweet potato casserole or candy sweet potato. And so I'm going to need about four sweet potatoes and cut in halves and I cut slits here as well. Then I'm going to add about one cup of water. Put into 15 minutes on high pressure. So what I'm going to do now is going to be corn in the cob. I'm going to add corn and I'm going to put some salt and pepper. Salt. Now I'm gonna air fry it at 370 for 12 minutes. The corn should be done. Wow, look at that. It looks like it's been on the grill. It looks pretty nice. And to finish off is to add some butter. All right, so that's my version of the corn on the cob air fry. So the sweet potatoes are done from cooking. So I'm gonna put it into venting. I'm gonna transfer in the container. I'm gonna try to pull out the skin and then empty the water. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Then one fourth cup of sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, so about Half a teaspoon, uh, one fourth teaspoon of, of cinnamon. I want to add a little bit. And half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. Ooh. Oh la la. Okay, so now I'm going to wait until it's fully caramelized. As you see, it got liquefied, the sugar melted. And then I'm gonna add the potatoes in. All right, now that I put it into a container, I'm gonna add some marshmallow. So I'm gonna try to use the roast option. 375 and for 10 minutes. And so this is my candy or sweet potato casserole.
All right, guys, this is home stretch. One more recipe, and that is gravy. So this is the turkey fat that I saved. This is about four tablespoons of turkey fat. And if you don't have turkey fat, you could use uh, regular butter. And I already put it into saute mode, so it's still pretty warm, hopefully. This is about one fourth of a cup of flour. Okay, now it's pretty, now it's really brown. Now this is about four cups of the stock that I have left from the turkey. Ooh. I'm gonna add it slowly. So salt and on low. And I'm just gonna let it simmer. I think it's gonna get thickened once it gets cooler. Transfer it into a bowl and let it cool. Hey guys, what a rush. Oh my goodness. I think I did pull it off. Nine different recipes with just these two tools. No stove top, no broiler, no oven. And the most amazing dish that I was unexpecting to see was the king of the meal, which is the turkey. Look how beautiful the skin looks. I didn't think that that would work, especially for an almost nine pound turkey. So if you ever try this at home, try to find the smallest turkey that you can find just to have the ease of cooking. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far. So as you can see, you got, we got the turkey here. I got here the cranberry sauce, stuffing. This is the green bean casserole. I got the apple tur turnovers. The apple turnovers didn't really turn that well. I think I forgot the lining and so the pie crust just kept stuck on the bottom. I got mashed potato and here I have the gravy and then the corn in the cup and the sweet potato casserole. To summarize my nine recipes here that my family will be eating for Thanksgiving Day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys then. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving.